Hello my dear friends welcome to top scholars today we'll be discussing about uses of metals so friends let's first start with gold now if i talk about gold friends gold is a very shiny yellow metal right and this metal is quite precious because of its scarcity as well as due to its chemical stability now if we talk about some of the properties of gold friends gold is said to be highly malleable If we talk about pure gold, pure gold is very, very, very soft metal, and so it is the most malleable metal. Now, the next important property of gold is its chemical stability. Gold does not easily react with other substances, and thereby it is resistant to corrosion. Gold is a good conductor of electricity. If you mix some amount of copper, nickel, or silver with gold. it results in the hardening of gold now as we know pure gold is very very soft right so this soft metal that is this pure gold cannot be directly used for making ornaments and various articles right so that is the reason why these metals like copper nickel and silver are added to pure gold in order to make it harder now generally in india 22 carat gold is used what do we mean by 22 carat now yes 22 carat means we have 22 parts of gold and two parts of the remaining metal for example you can add nickel copper or silver which makes it more harder now due to these properties of gold gold has numerous uses so let's see what are the uses of gold right gold is used in electronic devices that is it is used in the manufacture of computers telephones home appliances Gold is used to make ornaments and coins. Now, friends, generally in the alloy form, gold is used in making ornaments and coins, right? The next very important use of gold is in dentistry. That is, in order to fill the cavities that are present in the teeth, gold is mixed with other metals. That is, in the form of an alloy. Now, let's move on to another metal. That is silver. Yes, silver is an off-white lustrous metal. Lustrous means shiny, right? Now, if we talk about silver, silver is highly malleable as well as ductile. What do we mean by malleable? Yes, malleable means the property of a metal by which it can be easily beaten into sheets. And what is ductile? Yes, ductile is the property by which it can be easily drawn into wires. Now, friends, silver is a good conductor of electricity because of these properties of silver. Silver is used on a large scale. Let us see what are the uses of silver, right? Silver is used for making ornaments. Yes, ornaments are made up of silver as well as silver is used in dentistry that is to fill the teeth cavities that is in the form of an alloy that is generally silver is mixed with gold and it is used for filling the cavities in your teeth. Silver is also used as a purifier of water and one of the important uses of silver is that it is used in batteries as an electrode metal as well as in electroplating silver is also used in photography that is in the form of silver bromide and silver iodide now let's move on to the next metal that is iron friends iron is the most abundant metal that is found right let's discuss some of the properties of iron iron is a silvery gray metal iron is lustrous that is it has shine iron is ductile as well as malleable that means you can draw wires you can make sheets from iron because of these properties of iron iron is used for making pipes tanks cylinders agricultural tools nails wire meshes railings as well as furniture iron is also used for construction purposes that is for the construction of bridges ships machine parts buildings and for these construction purposes iron is used in the form of steel and what is steel yes steel is an alloy of iron that is it contains iron with carbon iron is also used in the construction of power transmission towers as well as for making utensils cutlery and surgical instruments Now, friends, generally we've heard about stainless steel utensils, right? What is stainless steel? Yes, stainless steel again is an alloy of iron. That is, it contains iron along with chromium, some amount of magnesium, right? Which means that simply iron in the form of steel, that is, stainless steel, is used for making utensils, right? 
Now let's move on to the next metal that is copper. Copper is a reddish brown metal friends and copper is again highly ductile that is you see copper wires right in the electrical cables right which means that copper is highly ductile it is easily drawn into wires copper is a good conductor of both heat as well as electricity because of these properties of copper copper is used for making electric wires coils as well as cables copper utensils friends you've seen copper utensils right and this copper metal is also used for making semi-precious ornaments. Copper is also used for making coins and statues, that is in the form of alloys. For example, bronze and brass. Bronze is an alloy of copper, that is copper and tin, whereas brass is again an alloy of copper which contains copper and zinc. Copper is also used in electronic devices. As we know, copper is a good conductor of electricity. Now let's move on to the next metal, that is aluminium. Friends, aluminium is the second most abundant metal after iron. And aluminium is a silvery white metal. Let's discuss the properties of aluminium, right? Aluminium is malleable as well as ductile. We can make sheets of aluminium. We can make aluminium wires. Also, aluminium is a very good conductor of heat and electricity. Because of these properties of aluminium, aluminium also has wide variety of uses. Aluminium is used for making electrical cables and wires. As we know, it is ductile, right? And this is the reason why copper is generally substituted by aluminium because aluminium is cheaper. Aluminium is also used for making utensils, cans for drinks, furniture, window frames. Aluminium is also used for packaging purposes, right? Because as we know, aluminium is a good conductor of heat, right? So in order to keep our food warm and hot, what we do is we cover our food with aluminium foils, right? And these aluminium foils are made from the metal aluminium. You also see some packages, right? That is some uh, wrappers of medicines and foodstuff packages. They all are made from aluminium. Now friends, if aluminium is mixed with small proportion of copper, magnesium and manganese, it results in the formation of alloy that is dura alumin. What is dura alumin? Yes, dura alumin is an alloy of aluminium which contains aluminium, copper, magnesium and manganese. And this alloy is used for making bodies of aircrafts, automobiles, machine parts as well as some tools. Now let's move on to the next metal that is zinc. Friends, zinc is a bluish white metal and zinc is not hard but it is a brittle metal, right? And zinc is neither malleable nor ductile which means that you cannot prepare zinc sheets nor you can prepare zinc wires. So depending upon these properties, zinc has some uses. What are the uses? Let's see one by one, right? Zinc is used as an electrode metal, friends. At the same time, zinc is also used for making alloys like brass and bronze. Brass and bronze are alloys of, yes, they are alloys of copper. Zinc is also used for making dry cells. Zinc is also used for coating iron sheets. That is, it is used for the process of galvanization. What is done in galvanization? Yes, in galvanization process, iron sheets are coated with a thin layer of zinc. And this prevents the rusting of iron because the iron now does not come in direct contact with the atmosphere. So in order to break the contact of the metal from the atmosphere, we put a coating of zinc over the iron sheet. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.